Good morning YouTube. So I managed to get the panels off the rack last night and I have the new 12 gauge steel unistrut up there. I still have a couple of lag bolts I got to put in on the top one. I've got to figure out how to get the panels from down on the ground up there. Using my solar panel lift. So I think that works the best. I just slide it off that way onto the patio roof. I have some sheets of cardboard up there and then I can slide the panel over and you can see I've already got one up there. Three more to go. So I'll show you what it looks like when I get done here. Okay there we go YouTube all finished. Got all four panels up there. So 335 watts each. So that's 1340 watts total. Finally got all four identical panels up there. Right now I have two panels in parallel feeding my 12 volt battery bank and two panels in parallel feeding the lithium battery bank. Yeah, so there's the uh, lithium charge controller. I got that one over here on the newer charge controller that I have the lithium battery profile. And let's see, there we're getting uh, 37.8 volts and 7 amps coming in, 261 watts coming in, 270, so it's a little late in the afternoon, it's like 2.30 and pretty soon the sun's going to be going over the side of the house, so we're getting pretty low sun angle here. And let's go take a look at the older charge controller, see what it's doing. Yeah, so this is my original charge controller running the lead acid battery bank and it's at 38.4, definitely a higher voltage than the old panels did. They were more like 30 volts. And we've got the batteries up to 14.3. Yeah, there's the trimetric battery monitor right there. Five and a half amps into the batteries. We're 98 amps. 14.2 volts and five and a half amps. So I find the charge controller display is about two amps low, maybe two and a half. But yeah, I think we're, we're running. So we've got 670 watts into each charge controller. Back on the new charge controller that's on the lithium battery bank. So yeah, that's doing pretty good. So probably what I'm gonna do is set this up so I can have like up to three panels and then I can do things like put three in series or three in parallel and then see what kind of effect that has. I have been running this with two panels in series and I find this charge controller doesn't seem to handle the series panels as well. It seems to get a little confused as far as the MPPT function if you reset it it'll go up to like 70 volts which is the open circuit on the old panels and then it'll go down building power and at a certain point it'll just start falling off the edge of the curve and it ends up at about 16 volts which is down at the battery voltage and then what you have to do is disconnect the solar panel reconnect it and then it goes back up to 70 volts and then gradually drops back down. So I just want to try this. Maybe there was a problem with the other panels. So, But now I've got four panels up on the roof so I can do pretty much anything I want with this. I can put two panels in parallel, two in series, three in parallel, three in series. But yeah, I think this is working out okay. We'll see what it does in the morning. We've got about a week of clear weather coming and I'll see what this does at peak sun, you know, right around noon. And then I need to decide if I want to do two panels here or three panels. Because on paper, the 670 watts at 16 volts is about 40 amps, which is what this controller is rated for. But you never quite get the peak output of the panels. So in that case, maybe it's better to uh, put three of them in there because three of them will be about a thousand watts. And then with losses and whatnot, you might end up with, with 40 amps coming out. And then the other thing I want to do here 
is I've got a second uh, charge controller. I have one of uh, Dason's SBMS controllers for the lithium batteries. It's pulse width modulated. So for that, I need to put all the, s the solar panels in parallel and then feed the SBMS. So what I want to do is I'll set up a couple set of breakers down here. I'll have three breakers into this controller and then I'll put the SBMS over here with three circuit breakers and then have those connected to the battery, the solar panels, and my DC load and then I can switch back and forth between these. But I wanted to get the panels up first. That was that was the big deal. Get them up in the up in the sun making power. And then I can fool around down here and reconfigure this. But anyway, I thought I'd show you the new panels and they're working good on the controller. Let's see, what are we getting now? About nine and a half into the batteries and seven and a half into my load. So we're still getting a pretty good charge now. I'll put some update videos over here on the side as I make some progress on the system. And if you have any questions, post up in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.